Ken Griffin, the uh, founder of Citadel, piece of garbage, low life, <laughs> okay, who, in my opinion, makes his money in a way that is unethical and, um, in my opinion, criminal, um, has now shelled out $107 million for a waterfront property in Miami, okay. It's like he's just laughing in our face, this piece of garbage, this piece of shit. He really is. He just, he, you know, people keep saying he's broke. Uh, finance news keeps saying, um, oh, yeah, Citadel's collapsing. Ken Griffin is collapsing. Yeah, he's collapsing. He just broke a record, $107 okay, million dollars for just, just, just to live, the, to hang his hat, okay? Um, I, I feel a lot of different ways about this. I'm actually angry at YouTubers like Finance News because they just complete, he completely just makes up lies, makes up videos just to get views. I, yeah, Citadel's really collapsing. The guy's really struggling. I think all of us would like to struggle the way Ken Griffin is struggling, right? Um, and the second thing is it pisses me off that this guy is doing so well because the SEC, Gary Gunzer, in my opinion, the chairman is not doing his job. You know, synthetics are not being investigated, synthetic shares. It's like, you know, you have the SEC transparency rule. They, they don't include synthetics. That's it. So all of these hedge funds have this ticket to ride to use as many synthetics as they want to without reporting them to the SEC, without reporting them to the DTCC, without reporting them to FINRA. And they're getting, it seems like they're getting richer and richer <laughs> every single year, you know breaking multiple records in, in their earnings and, and in their, you know, all of their luxury properties and all their luxury, you know, their airlines and their and their penthouse apartments and everything, all their toys, while the retail investors, while the rest of the world, you know, who are playing by the rules, who are doing everything right, are struggling. And it really just is a testament to show you, because Billy Joe wrote a song, Only the Good Die Young, one of my favorite songs. And it's really true, because it's like you try to be good in this world. You try to, you know, follow God's work, and you try to just be a good human being. And, you know, a lot of times you feel like you're being punished, don't you? Don't you feel like you're being punished for, for being good? And you take a devil like Ken Griffin, who is a piece of garbage, who does everything, you know, in my opinion. This is just my opinion, okay? I'll say allegedly, okay? Illegal, okay? And criminal, Okay, I personally feel this dude is the next, uh, you know, if not even worse than Bernie Madoff, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. If if you really dove deep into Ken Griffin and really started dissecting his finances, you would pro he'd probably make Bernie Madoff look like an older boy. That's my opinion. I have to say this video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing I'm saying is based on fact. It is based on my opinion. It is entertainment purposes only. But that is how I feel.